Hello people, this is Eric Copra and this Huh. Can we use Yeah, um as I was saying um, This is Eric Copra, this is Let's Play Fallout Honest Art uh, Hearts Blind. And I'm now a rich guy. Very rich. So I was um you know looking some stuff up the other day to see if I missed anything in good old Fallout New Vegas and it turns out I had. Uh, I'll explain a bit more. I'll see you again outside. Now, uh, the stuff I read up about, there was really only two things I would say that were uh, major uh, things I missed out on. One was there was apparently another faction I could have gotten in on my little campaign to take over the place. Uh, the Enclave Remnant was it? I think it was that. Who could have showed up with a helicopter or something like that to attack people? A shame we missed out on that. But hey, another thing was there's apparently a clinic around here. Not just any clinic. A clinic that sell implants. Expensive implants. But hey, I'm rich now, aren't I? Oh yeah, and I didn't take a companion with me. Yeah, here it is. I didn't take a companion with me because I figured as soon as I get somewhere, well, they're not going to come with me. And if they are, I'm gonna slap myself if I could have brought someone along. Anyway, so I thought I'm gonna upgrade myself a bit and become the Robo Emperor of Mojave Wasteland with my newfound wealth. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. That's the part I'm here for. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities. Make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Excellent. I'll be paying in gold. Yes, gold! One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? Well, let's make us more intelligent. Intelligence is already something I benefit from, so having a bit more brain power will only help. For 4,000 caps, I can install a logic coprocessor. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. You're back. Dean. Okay, get a discount. I don't suppose, uh... Huh. Yeah. The question is... How do I get all the money's worth out of my, uh... <laughs> um... Out of my um, gold bars, that's what I'm looking for. Don't know why. Wait, that was wrong. That was not what I wanted. Hmm. 
That's wrong again. Okay. Yeah, I should probably calculate this a bit, but yeah, yeah, thought. What am I thinking about? This is easy. It's ten per piece. This is not advanced mathematics. What the hell's wrong with you? to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? Uh, I want to have armor in my skin. That would be the Nemean subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. I'm considering I don't, oh, okay. Very well. Huh. Take care. Excuse me a moment. I have to get some money from somewhere. So yeah, the Grub and Gob rest stop should probably be considered closed forever now. A uh, bunch of PC legionnaire assassins attacked me there, and managed to take down a caravan and the nice people selling stuff there. I've been all over the map trying to drum up money. You see, I can't imagine that I would get into a menu like all other shop screens. But unfortunately, that is not the case with buying these transplants, and there's no not, no trader with enough money so I can get all my gold bar back in caps at once, which kind of makes them impractical. Oh, all right. Okay. That would be. It won't make. You have a seat in the auto. Get that healing one too. That'll be nice. You're back. All right. Let me do it. All right. Um, regeneration sounds good. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. I like lizards. The implant is very expensive, however. Holy crap. Luck is also good. If I implant the probability calculator in your frontal lobe, you'll be able to calculate odds a little better. It's not quite the same as making you luckier, but you'll be able to nudge things your way more often. I can do the implant for 4,000 caps. Sure. Have a seat in the eye. I see. That's really give me a couple of... Perks. Excellent. Intelligence of nine. I must be really intelligent just about now. Why can't I see my damage threshold thing? Mm-hmm. 
Oh well. No, no, I should be a bit tougher and do a bit more damage. Anyway, it's time for vacation. A trip into the... Well, I'm not actually... Actually, I'm not really sure. Um, I was just told that this one was the next in line. Um, remember, a, a comment posted... I should probably take some to drink. A comment posted... Back at the end of uh, New Vegas, who gave me a suggested... I'm not gonna lock this around. Uh, anyway... Um, I keep losing my train of thought. Uh, yeah, and then, in any case, um, yeah, the preferred order. Well, apparently, also the order of release. Surprise, surprise. And this one was next in line, so that's what I'm be going with. Huh. So yeah. So, it's a caravan that wants me on board. Well, of course, I'm the Emperor. A caravan with my blessing is sure to make a lot of caps. Or something. Some good old fashioned scavenging? No. That's one over there closed off too, apparently. Yet, I think, possibly, perhaps. Ah, yeah, that should be right around the corner or right over the hilltop. Sold off my shovel. Didn't think I'll find another grave. Oh well. Hello, Bill. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Wait a minute. I recognize you. Yeah. You're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non competes are pretty rigid. Tell me a bit more about this. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Uh, why? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. I didn't know about any of those until you brought it up. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City too, but... Uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Sounds like an un yeah. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't re-establish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. What about Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. 
The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. Oh, I would never make the mistake of assuming that someone who is religious is automatically a pacifist. That's a stupid mistake to make. Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Okay. Shoot. Can I get a report on the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some training with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Okay. Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Hmm. Possibly an area worth expanding into once we're done stabilizing uh, Mojave and I'm taking a look at the Vizier Matras treasures. Worth well, looking into. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy. Jacked up on Kims, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. And the tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even...